The Coquitlam Animal Shelter is located at 500 Mariner Way. They always have animals looking for good homes. So if you're interested, let them know by calling 604-927-7387. Let's see who's in there now. So we are here today at the Coquitlam Animal Shelter. I am Nichelle and I'm going to introduce you to Cherry and Blossom. Cherry and Blossom are guinea pigs. Guinea pigs tend to live maybe around four to eight years. Uh, they can be actually really interactive pets. So if anybody's ever had a guinea pig, they know they like to make this little squealing noise when they want attention or when they want food. Um, and sometimes they will actually sit in your lap and can hang out and actually want to um, you know, be, be more part of the family than some other kind of small animals. Guinea pigs do require a special diet, so um, guinea pig pellets along with some leafy greens and they really like oranges. Um, we do give them some hay so that they can have something to munch on all day long. Um, I would suggest that guinea pigs do have a decent sized cage in the home so that they have some room to run and the times that they're not out and hanging out with the family. So if you're interested in meeting these cute little guys, Cherry and Blossom, please stop by the Coquitlam Animal Shelter and ask us about them. So next up, we're here in our cat room that we've set up for cats that are a little bit more shy. Um, here, here with right now with Amy, um, Amy's the one that's been working exclusive with these cats every day and so we thought we'd give you a little close-up of how they've been doing. All these cats here came in as strays and a lot of them were very scared um, of people and of new situations and they really weren't too interactive. They'd find a little hole that we have in here and they would hide for most of the day. So Amy has done really great work over the past few weeks and she's been teaching the cats that people are okay because they like giving yummy treats. And so Rodney here, as you can see, has been kind of trained to take treats right out of Amy's hand. Uh, Rodney was one of the cats that actually wouldn't come close to anybody and he can actually scratch if you aren't too careful with him. All of these cats are up for adoption they do require special treatment. So we do need homes that are quiet. Um, these cats are not appropriate for small children um, and they should go to homes where people um, do have some cat experience. Um, these cats likely will not like to be picked up, but they do like um, to come around. They do seek out affection in their own ways. The cats here would actually make a really good home for someone that already had cats. Most of these cats are really social with each other, so they will actually make um, amazing um, pets for a family that um, understands their needs. Um, a quiet home that can give them some time, so they'd likely be the best to start off in a home that they had their own specific space, um, for a little while they get to learn where their litter box and their food is and they don't have to worry about people coming and going from the house. Um, over time they can start integrating themselves with the family as they choose. Um, and eventually um, these cats can be just like any other cat in a family. So if you have the time um, and the patience to deal with a cat who may not be you know, very outgoing to begin with. We'd love for you to come and meet these cats. Um, we would consider a foster situation for some of these cats. So if you're interested in that, please come by the Coquitlam Animal Shelter and take a look at these beautiful cats that we have here. Here we have Bobo. Bobo is about a six-year-old collie, border collie cross um, with a lab. He is super sweet. Um, he really likes to just hang out with his people. Um, he goes for walks really well on a leash and is 
really good as far as being around other dogs on a leash. Right now we're looking for a foster home for Bobo. Bobo has some pretty itchy skin. So we've tried a number of different uh, medications to try and get Bobo to be a little less itchy. Um, and we're on a new medication now. So as long as someone's comfortable with giving some pills to Bobo in the morning and at night, um, and preferably they don't have any other pets. Bobo kind of likes to have all the attention to himself. So if we can get someone that's interested in fostering this wonderful dog, um, they can come up to the Coquitlam Animal Shelter and ask us a little bit more about what our foster program entails and they can meet this, uh, this wonderful guy. Mm -hmm.